And so when you think about why people don't accomplish, oftentimes the things that they seek to accomplish or the life that they seek to live, it's not that they don't possess what it takes. They don't have the courage to prepare and make a space for it. I told my business partner, we millionaires, they ain't cut the check yet. That headspace to go in and prepare every single day and say, nah, it's coming. Mm. We just ain't got it yet. But people think when you arrive at a certain destination or you see it manifest in the material, that that's the dream. Nah, that's part for the course. What's more important, what you acquire or who you become? It has to work or it has to work. Most people miss out on opportunities because the paycheck not tied to them. Mm. Like so many people. So real. Like, like you aren't preparing for your opportunity. So when the opportunity come, you ain't even ready for mm. it. Like I teach event spaces and things like that. I'm like, yo, you may don't have a credit right now. You may don't. No that don't mean they'll stop you from learning all of these things now. So when all those things come in place, you ready? Mm. People, I seem like some people only want to work when it's favorable. Mm. You kind of talking about earth, like, yo, yeah. you got to be willing to put work in when no one is seeing you. Like yes. practice is you're practicing because. <laughs> You preparing for a game. Who yeah, knows when the man. game going to come? Or the well, AI say, Neo, we talk about practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, it's so funny. I don't know if you know um, a lot. Well, I'm sure you know, but it's so funny how they, they so essentially when he was talking about, you talking about practice, mm -hmm. he just lost his, his best friend or something. Or something and yeah, it was like, man. they chopped that up. You talking about, y'all yeah. worrying about practice when I lost my best Absolutely. friend. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So, it's deep. Yeah, it's deep. Yeah, it's different. Just how it's it's um uh, it's interesting, Neo. Like it's so true what you're saying, and you just like you hope that cats catch it and pay attention and not take it for granted, mm -hmm. because sometimes the most simple things are the most effective. Yeah, and so you think about the things that were told to us back in the day, whether it was by, it was by our elders, you know, teachers, whatever the case may be. Now it's presented a little bit more fancy in the world that we live in because of the access in terms of technology, books, information. But it's the same thing the elders told us years ago. They just didn't say it as fancy, but they told it to us. And oftentimes it was so simple that we ignored it. And so when you talk preparation, when you talk valuing opportunities, when you talk working in the dark, not taking things for granted, like all of these things are life skills that can translate and carry over into every aspect of our life. Mm -hmm. And so when you think about why people don't accomplish, oftentimes the things that they seek to accomplish or the life that they seek to live, it's not that they don't possess what it takes, it's that they don't have the courage to prepare and make a space for it, mm -hmm. right? Like long before you became the millionaire guy you, you became, you was already preparing for that. Yeah, that's a fact. Like my guy Jesse, like I love Jesse Isla line, oh, yeah, man, man, when he say like, and just say, I told my business partner, we millionaires, they ain't cut the check yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that headspace to go in and prepare every single day and say, nah, it's coming. Mm. We just ain't got it yet. Yeah. Like that's the dream. Yeah. Right. When Kobe talk about it and he say in the gym, late nights, putting up shots, like working, staying consistent, dedicated, watching getting up the in the game morning. Tape. He watching said he the watched game every tape. game tape. All of that. He said, that's the dream. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah. people think when you arrive at a certain destination or you see it manifest in the material, that that's the dream. No, nah, that's part for the course. The dream is the process. That's why I always say to cats, Neo, what's more important, what you acquire or who you become? Mm. And most cats think what they acquire is the thing that makes them who they are. No, it's who you become in the process of chasing what you want to acquire. Mm. Because it's going to turn you into somebody whether you want to or not. Whatever it is that we chasing, or it's going to turn you into somebody, right? Now, who it turns you into, you dictate that. It's not what we acquire. We all will acquire things. There's nothing wrong with that. You chase it. You work hard. You should acquire that. You earn that, right? But who will it turn you into? Yeah. Will you become the person that will compress and become tight? It's like a cat when they get money and they close their hand. It's like, cool, you caught it, but you can't receive any more because you're not opening your hand up. Mm -hmm. The same thing works for life, right? When we're chasing what we want to chase, when we're trying to grow, trying to get to certain levels, like you got to be open, man. Like you got to prepare space and place, man. You got to be courageous to chase things and be cool with if it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. Be cool with if it doesn't pan out, right? Some of the greatest blessings come in the form of adversity, opposition, and challenges, mm. or things not going the way that we thought they would go.
I never thought I would speak. Crazy. That's why I'm so humbled by it, Neo. Like, the humbling part of it is, I thought I was going to play ball. Yeah. Loved every bit of it. Never knew anything about... Bro, they put me in public speaking in college. I dropped the class on the second day. Wow. Didn't want nothing to do with it. Professor, like, where you going? I'm like, man, I ain't speaking. Yeah, yeah. And now I speak for a living. The places I've been, the things I've been able to do, the lives I've been able to impact. Like... Bro, it's unbelievable. And so to think that there was a plan that was a lot greater than mine already manifesting and already in place, that's humbling, right? And so the way I live my life is, man, be courageous and be willing to chase it and prepare space for it that even if it doesn't turn out in the form of what you expected, you're still cool with it because of the individual that you put forth in terms of your efforts in trying to accomplish it. Mm. And oftentimes if we can't see it, Right? If it's dim, yeah. be like, nah, that ain't for me. And I always say to cats, don't waste the experience. Mm. What you mean? Talk about that. Do not waste the experience. If we look at a journey, something that we want to accomplish, don't turn out the way we want it to, we throw it to the side. Nah, man, I'm cool on that. That ain't it. Right? And we waste the experience. Yeah. And it's like, no, nah, I don't waste that. Learn from it. Mm. Point in case. 